Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a review on the MAC Cosmetics Spring 2014 Collection Fantasy of Flowers, the blushes. Now there are two blushes in this collection and they're both mineralized blushes. We have Azalea in the Afternoon and Petal Power. Now um, these are pretty much the typical formula that they usually put out for their mineralized blushes. I used this one today so it's a little bit um, fluffy, I forgot to clean it out inside. That's my bad. Um, but one note about these blushes, they're very powdery, whereas in the past, all of their mineralized blushes, for me at least, have not been necessarily very powdery. They've been, um, I mean, easy to work with, but just not powdery. These are really powdery, and I would suggest that when you use them, be very careful and maybe use a stiffer, um, well not stiffer, but a denser blush brush, because if you use anything too fluffy, you're going to wind up with all this um, stuff. And I almost found that it didn't transfer well onto the cheek because of that. I really had to like work it into my cheek. So this one is Azalea in the Afternoon. And here's a swatch on my fingers. You can see it is kind of powdery. And this shade is a really highlighted, frosted pink. Depending on your skin tone, you might be able to use this as a highlighter, but it's pretty much just a blush. And it does have that light reflection in it, and it is a very soft pink, so it's really great for the spring. Then we also have the Petal Power. Now this one seems like such a common shade to me, like I feel like the Balm has done it, done it. I feel like NARS has done it, like I feel like we've seen this color that corally color that has that reflection of gold. Do you see it when I go like this? Like that coral that just has that reflection of gold. I feel like we've just seen it. It's been done to death. And I just wanted to show you here. You see how it has that reflection? Sorry. Uh, I hate when it does that. That reflection. This one has that silvery reflection. This has a golden reflection. So you do have choice. But I just feel like we've seen this color so many times before. Now this one is also powdery, but it's not as powdery. And because it's a corally shade and because it has that little bit of that gold to it, I feel like this shade would be perfect for medium to darker skin tones. But, um, of course, would work universally on everyone. If it's too dark for you, just sheer it out. And if it's too light for you, just build it up. But again, I love that golden reflection. Though we've seen it before, I feel like this one's just a little bit more golden than the ones I've seen before. But it's really gorgeous. I could go like this all day. Um, I even think this would be a pretty um, eyeshadow, but because it's a blush, it might not last as long. Um, wear time. The shade is in the afternoon did not last as long on my cheeks as um, Petal Power. So I would say five hours for Azalea in the afternoon and about seven hours for Petal Power. Of course, it also depends on what you put underneath it, how you're setting it. You know, so just be conscious when you use these products and see how they wear on you first before determining what you want to do from there on. Did you like the blushes in this collection? Are you a fan of the mineralized blushes? Let me know. I'm going to have picture swatches at the end of this video. Please follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust, and thank you so much for watching.